I'm Dr. Lawrence Klotz from University of Toronto, Sunnybrook Health Sciences Centre. I'm a urologic oncologist at Sunnybrook. So uh, prostate cancer is the commonest cancer in males and there's been a tremendous increase in prostate cancer over the last 20 years, mainly due to increase in early detection because of the PSA test. And what this has meant is many men diagnosed with so-called prostate cancer who really are not at risk from dying of the disease. There's a huge unmet need for a minimally invasive, hopefully relatively inexpensive treatment for these patients. The treatment doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be relatively effective and it should be a treatment that doesn't impose a lot of side effects on the patient. I'm very excited about the possibilities of MR-guided ultrasound to fulfill that unmet need. I've partnered with Dr. Rajiv Chopra and beginning about a year and a half ago, we moved into the first in the world clinical trials of this new technology. And what it consists of is the uh, MR thermal mapping and a transurethral device that has an ultrasound transducer that generates ultrasound waves that creates heat in the prostate and the, the device maps the temperature real time. And the other extraordinary piece of this, for which Dr. Chopra deserves all the credit, is a control device that essentially uses the thermal mapping data to control the amount of energy that's delivered. And so essentially, the idea is you will turn it on, press the big red button that says start, and the, the ultrasound transducer will rotate through the prostate, heating the entire prostate to the point where all the cancer is destroyed. It looks like this, in theory, could be done in anywhere in as little as half an hour to 40 minutes. We are going step by step to really determine how well does it work, is it safe, can we target an area and know that is the only area that's going to be treated. There are structures around that you don't want to mess with, like the rectum and the urethral sphincter. But what we've done so far in eight patients is treat them with this technology and then we go straight to the operating room, essentially same anesthetic. And I've done a radical prostatectomy and so the point of the study is to say, okay, this is what we're going to target. What portion of the prostate has actually been destroyed compared to what we targeted? And what we found is actually that the correlation is very tight. When we say this is what we're going to target, that within, a, within about a millimeter is all the tissue that's been destroyed. So that's step one. Step two, which we're just planning and we have some grant applications in for, is to actually target the cancer, which we haven't done yet. So to say, okay, we're going to go, we're going to treat the cancer, and then we're going to take out the prostate and see if the cancer has been destroyed. The next step after that is where things will really get um, ambitious, that is to use this as the treatment for the patient's cancer. That's still probably uh, at least a couple years down the road. Yeah, I'm quite excited about the possibilities for this and you know I should add that the numbers are huge.